Did you know that the universe can end right now? Like this? In a process called vacuum decay, our universe may get annihilated quickly and efficiently. And yes, it can happen anytime. To understand this, we must first look at several key players. First, we have the Higgs field. This field of energy covers our entire universe and is responsible for the mass of pretty much everything. Second, there is stability. Everything in the universe wants to be stable, and stability comes from having as less energy as possible. Third, there is the vacuum state. A vacuum state is the lowest level of energy and has maximum stability. There are two types. There is a false vacuum, which is stable in the short term, and the true vacuum, which is completely stable. So let's go back to how the universe can get destroyed. Physicists currently believe that the Higgs field is a false vacuum. Since it's unstable, the field may suddenly transition into a true vacuum without warning. This is called vacuum decay. Imagine a cliff like this. The Higgs field is stuck here because of the bump. The true vacuum state can be achieved at the bottom of the cliff. If a large enough amount of energy is applied to the Higgs field, it can roll over the bump and tumble down to a true vacuum. Once this decay happens, a true vacuum bubble forms. Expanding at the speed of light, it consumes our entire universe, turning it into a true vacuum. Great. So how's that a bad thing? First of all, the walls of the expanding bubble are made of pure energy. This alone would destroy any material object instantly. To make matters worse, a change in the Higgs field's energy will change the property of the entire universe. This means that the new universe will be governed by new laws of physics and new laws of chemistry. These new laws may not allow atoms to form, or they may replace Newton's laws of motion with alternative laws. Most likely, the new laws will make the universe inhospitable to humans and even life itself. Luckily, the energy required to tip a false vacuum off the cliff is immense, so we are probably okay, right? Not really. With a phenomenon called quantum tunneling, vacuum decay can happen anytime with no apparent reason. There is something called a wave function, which represents the probability of finding an object somewhere. Let's say this ball is the Higgs field again. Its wave function extends to the other side of the bump, meaning that there is a slight probability that you'll find the object there. So when things go right, the field tunnels through the bump and appears on the other side. You know what happens next. Fortunately, physicists are not fully certain whether we live in a false vacuum or a true one. Maybe our Higgs field is actually stable. Or maybe new discoveries will eventually reveal that vacuum decay will not be a problem. Besides, if we do live in a false vacuum, the decay will probably not happen for Googles of years. Google means one followed by a hundred zeros. Although there are chances that the vacuum decays now, it's very, very slim. And finally, even if the decay already started somewhere in the universe, the bubble may not reach us for a long time, if ever. Although the bubble of the true vacuum expands at the speed of light, our universe is expanding way faster than that. But if the theory is correct, the universe as we know it can come to an end with one push. So should we be scared? No! Instead, let us be grateful that we are bestowed with the gift of existence. Whatever happens in the future, we exist on this universe now. And this is so miraculous. Thanks for watching.